Hey, it's time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. And today we are joined by Felipe Prieto and Tanner Smith with Coastal Kitchen Seattle. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. So excited that you're here today. Already smells amazing. <laughs> but Coastal Kitchen reopened this winter on Capitol Hill. New concept, new interior. So walk yep. us through the changes. Yeah, we decided to kind of just rebrand, revamp, get everything ready to go for the new year. Um, we changed all of our stuff interior-wise, so like lots of new paint, new decor brought the vibe up nice ambiance and then we moved into doing locally sustainable food that we're just really focused on so that's what we were doing with our new menu that we're going forward with beautiful yeah, wonderful. March, yeah. March 29th we hear is the spring menu release what it can we is. expect can you give us some details so right now our biggest thing is halibut season just took off a week ago so that's the biggest thing to look at and that's what we're bringing to you guys today so we're really focusing on that it's in three different dishes we use the whole fish Great. So, fantastic, so yeah. what's the actual dish we're making today? All right, so today we're going to do a pan-seared halibut with Parisian gnocchi. Okay. And a bird blanc, roasted carrots, and melted leeks. So Parisian gnocchi basically is a French version of the potato Italian gnocchi, but yeah. instead of potatoes, just flour and egg base. And it's just more delicate, more soft. So, yeah. Um, I, Let's just get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so basically we have the dough here and the, the way that we cook it at the restaurant in order to just be uh, efficient. We just tie a string what? on boiling water and then we can just go ahead and cut it. That oh looks like God. cake yeah. icing in there. So that is I very cool. can't yes. believe it. Yeah. So like, wow. the, the more you do it, the faster you get. Uh, you know, I have plenty of people doing it for me, so clearly I'm not the faster one. But yeah. So the idea is to do it, and after they're cooked, they start floating. We scoop them out, and then they should look something like this. We cool them down so they don't stick all together. Yep. And then we just basically uh, pan sear them, get them all crispy, add the vegetables while we're cooking our fish, and then... Once everything's ready, we just assemble everything and then Put voila. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. Let's just do it. Let's go let's for it. Contraption. Yeah. I know. Fantastic. Very thoughtful. <laughs> okay. So basically, we start with the fish, mm -hmm. just a little bit of salt, both sides. We like to keep a towel under it so it dries out the fish and it gets like slightly crispier. Mm -hmm. It looks nice and meaty too. Oh yeah, I mean the, the product that we're getting right now is incredible. As Tanner mentioned, the season just started so if you guys want to get halibut, it's the perfect time to do mm. it. Good tip, good tip. Yeah, so then we'll just go ahead. Ooh, sizzle. It. Yeah, that's how you know that you're doing it right. <laughs> mm. At the same time that he's doing that, I'm going to drop some gnocchi in the other pan. So we're just looking for some color here, a little bit extra. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's a vegetarian among us, right? That's me! Yeah. Yeah. So when you go to a restaurant, usually what we adapt very well to those type of uh, restrictions or, or preferences, mm -hmm. you know? So say like if you want to have this, we can do it with like a big mushroom or something like that. Oh, okay. Which we didn't bring today because we want to highlight the gnocchi. Yeah, but yeah. just wanted to let you know whenever yeah. you visit us, we obviously have the, the means to, to just feed That's everybody. Awesome. Beautiful. You know? Now, while you're cooking, chat with us about what your happy hour menu looks like. We want to oh, go yeah. Ahead. Um, so yeah, so right now in Happy, we have a few of our top dishes that we reduce on there, but the main things are like our martinis are amazing Ooh, on Happy Hour. Yeah. Silesia is like our flagship, so it's kombu infused dry vermouth that we do, and we use um, this certain gin with gin with uh, botanicals that they use from uh, kelp from the sea. So like wow. just has this really bright sea flavor. It pairs really well with our menu that we do. Of course. Um, and then food wise, I mean top sellers on there. We have like the ceviche. We do like a. We have like our small little bites, our bocarones with like little Matisse anchovies out of Spain that we do on Cristini's. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Tin fish is very big, so definitely have that. Wow. Yeah. And where do you get your ingredients from? We source them all over. I mean, right now, everything comes, uh, all of our fish is coming out of a certain vendor that just gets everything fresh off the boat from the Fisherman's Terminal. So they have their own system that they work with. They have their own uh, place in Alaska, um, up near Kodiak. So we get just direct from vendor. So we don't have to go through a lot of middlemen, which is really awesome for our program. Mm -hmm. um, we keep all of our produce local in the Pacific Northwest. Just like all of us are pretty privileged in this area to do up here, we have that opportunity that we can take advantage of that. Ooh, is that carrots? That is. These are the roasted baby carrots. So these are heirloom carrots um, that are harvested with tops on still so we use the tops for garnish we also use the tops to make our herb oils which is oh, also wow. going to go on this dish um, so it's a very versatile ingredient very I sweet always beautiful. hear you can use carrot tops but i would never use know them. What to they're, do they're fantastic yeah. treat them like an herb treat them like parsley okay yeah. are they a little bitter or is it no they're, they're no? slightly sweet oh yeah. that's fun yeah. i didn't know that all right then we added our melted leeks in there we're going to hit it with a little bit of salt 
little flaky salt. Yep. Yeah. And then we're just going to toss this up, continue to sear it. Beautiful. And how do you know when the gnocchi is done? You want the color. So you're cooking the gnocchi fully done inside your pot. Uh -huh. That's when it floats after it boils. It's mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then in the pan, we're just looking to get that nice sear. Because that's okay. what you want. You want that crunch, but that nice, like, soft pillow on the inside. And that water was boi is supposed to be boiling? Yes. Or? Okay. Yep, okay. Yeah, it'll be boiling just like at a slight simmer. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to, like, overboil because it'll destroy the product. But ah. just that nice little simmer, little bubbles. And that's when you put it in, it'll float as soon as it's ready. And you just and scoop them out with a spoon. While we're waiting on, on the fish, tell me a little bit about these beauties right here. For sure. Okay, so oysters right now, we're getting uh, three different varieties from Skagit Valley Farm. They're up in Camino Island on the west side. Their farm is right at the Dungeness, uh, not Dungeness, Deception Pass. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we do our varieties right now, Ichiban, Hoshi, and Oishi. They're all Japanese variety, all extra small. Uh, beautiful melon finish, slightly briny, slightly creamy. Um, yeah, those are fantastic. We get our mussels and our uh, clams out of Penco. We also do clams out of Hama Hama. They do these awesome purple savory ones that are super iridescent and beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, what's it looking like? We have about All a right. minute okay. left. Yep. Let's so, do it. Yeah, at this point you would put the, the halibut in the oven just to finish cooking it okay. and getting a nice sear on the bottom. Uh -huh. But as we have one minute left, we already pre-did one that we're ready to eat. And then we're just going to plate this one for our vegetarian fellow over here. Oh. Yeah. So we have uh, some of our bird blanc right here. Tanner, if you want to grab this. Yeah. Wonderful. And then at this point, I would pretend that this is an oven. Oh, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Use we your imagination. It. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. Can we try the one that's over there? Absolutely. Is that okay? That's definitely for you guys. Go. This way, girl. Okay. Yeah. Let me just replace it. Beautiful. There, and then we have, you have some spoons over there. We get some extra, too. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. Who does, what's the cream? Is it cream down here? It's a uh, per blanc, so it's a mm, different mm. yes, yes, yes. butter sauce. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm just going to awesome. dig right in Go and try a little bite yes, right here. Please. Mm. Yeah, those are awesome. Oh my gosh, such fresh yeah. beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Felipe, mm -hmm. Tanner, thank you so much for coming in. This is fabulous. Awesome. We've got these recipes and more info on Coastal Kitchen on our website, fox13seattle.com. Fox Studio 13 Live. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you. Thank 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 you.